Alright, so this is going to be my... This is my 55mm Zanchi. I got it as a DIY and in white. Um, here's the box for it. It's like a purplish pink color. Put that there. Um, I got it as a DIY because I got my Lun as a DIY and it turned out really nice. It's a cute card again. So here are the stickers. I'm actually not gonna use these. I ordered a set of Fulbright mod stickers with this, but it was out of stock, so they're shipping it diff or er, they're shipping it separately. pieces, edges go together the same, just put the torpedo in, the other half, there, press it together, there's an edge in the corners, just take the little like, flap things and you just fit them together. So there's a corner. So I'm going to get these all together, and then I will be back. Alright, so now I've got all the pieces together. And here is the parlor. So, it's core. It's just normal core. some stuff off. I'm not really sure how big of a deal that makes little stuff that's like sticking off. But I know I've watched a couple of Crazy Red Cubers videos and he always talks about whenever there's like little pieces hanging off from the mold he'll usually shave them off. So I think it may help to make it smoother so the pieces don't have to go up and over it. Because that's how I would think it would help but I'm not sure if that's exactly what it does. It might do something else. But, um, yeah. Um, I haven't really been uploading a lot lately. I'm really busy with school. I just finished finals, so I'm hoping the first couple weeks and first or second semester will be easier, so I'll have more free time to maybe make videos and stuff. Um, I actually do have a, sorry about the wind, it's really windy outside. I actually have a, a Guhong V2 on the way, that one's a DIY too. Um, I watched a video about someone talking about it and they said it was really good. And I got a stickerless Guhong V1. Oh, there goes someone's like trash can or something. And it was good at first because it was the second cube I got. And the only other one I had to compare it to was just a Rubik's Cube. But I don't know what really happened. But now it's just really... I. It's smooth, but it's really, really slow, and I'm not sure if that's just what happened over time or something. But now it's just gotten really slow, and it's not that good. And so, I saw a lot of people talking about the V2, and I was like, I'm not sure if I want to get it or not, because I don't really like my V1. But I thought, maybe I should try getting it, just to see if I can get a feeling of what better guhongs feel like because a lot of people say they're really good and like they're fast and mine is just really slow so I'm thinking maybe I just need to get a different one and then that'll help so I'm gonna get that I also ordered a bright set with that but that was out of stock so that's gonna ship separately 
Um, I still need to make a review on my Changshou 7x7. I got it as a Christmas gift, and I haven't really had a lot of time to make a video for it. I've made like smaller videos, but I haven't made an actual like review of it. So I'm going to try and do that over this weekend. Because since we finished finals, there's no homework or anything, so I'm going to have a lot of free time. So this weekend, I'm just going to try and like pump out videos of all the things I haven't been able to do. So yeah, um, the contest I'm actually postponing it because I had to restart my account and everything um, due to there being like messed up information and stuff so I had to restart my account but I will probably change it to just like a five subscriber contest so there's at least some form of landmark for it. So yeah, um, probably just wait till I have five subscribers. It's not a really high number, but it's a landmark. Alright, so I've gotten it back together, or like, I've gotten it all together and stuff, um, and it's really, really smooth, I, I'm not sure, I heard they made them in original plastic, but I heard they were changing it, so I don't know if they've changed it yet or not, but this has a way different feeling from my Zanchi, it's a lot, like, smoother, um, uh, if you like, listen, you can hear the difference. And then this is a lot faster and like airy feeling. It's more like my London Hoy. It's kind of like my, like it has the feeling of my Lun Hoy, but it's faster. So this is actually my fastest cube now. Um, I'm not going to sticker it yet because I don't have the mod stickers. But yeah. I'm um, kind of running short on time, so I'll probably talk about more stuff in the review. But for now, I will say if you're thinking about getting a 55mm Zanchi, I would say yes. Or if you're thinking about getting a 50, I would say yes, because I'm pretty sure 55 and the 50 are the same. Actually, I'm not sure, because I've heard the 55 was made with original plastic, but I'm not sure if the 50 was. But if you're thinking about getting a 55, I would definitely recommend it.